Abyss Defiant has arrived in Destiny 2 as part of the Crota's End raid, and Auto Rifles, they are in a very good place in the current sandbox, and Abyss Defiant has some of the best perk combinations in the game. Well, today, I want to run through the stats, the perks, the goals to chase for PvP and PvE, plus also how to get Abyss Defiant in Destiny 2. Okay, let's dive right in and how to get Abyss Defiant. So to get this one, you want to run the Crota's End raid in Destiny 2. You can find this in the Legends tab in the Director. You're going to need a team, so either find some clan mates, friends, or you can find a team through LFG. Bungie has a good one on their website or through the mobile app, and later on in Season 23, they are going to add one into the game as well. We can get Abyss Defiant from the first encounter, that is Enter the Abyss, or the final encounter, that of course is Crota, and once you've completed those encounters, it has a chance to drop for you. It's also possible to get Abyss Defiant from the secret chest once you've already got it to drop. Plus, you can pick one up from the raid vendor at the end. That is the sword in the ground after you beat Crota. This weapon is also craftable. So if you get five red borders of the weapon and extract the deep sight, you can craft your very own Abyss Defiant at the Enclave on Savathun's Throne World. Okay, next up, let's have a closer look at Abyss Defiant. So this one is a legendary energy auto rifle with a high impact frame, meaning it's slow firing and high damage. And the weapon is more accurate when you're stationary and you're moving slowly and aiming down the sights. Looking at the stats, we got 33 for impact, 83 for range, 35 for stability, 33 for handling, 35 for reload speed. It's got 17 for airborne effectiveness and it is a 360 rounds per minute auto rifle with 32 in the magazine. We've also got a unique origin trait for all Crota's end weapons called Cursed Thrall. This is where, after defeating a target with a melee attack, final blows of the weapon cause targets to explode for a short duration. Okay, next up, let's have a look at the Abyss Defiant God Roll Guide. So for PvE, Hammer Forge Rifling, High Caliber Rounds, Reconstruction and Incandescent would be a decent roll. So with Hammer Forge Rifling, that increases range, and High Caliber Rounds slightly increases range as well. Reconstruction is where the weapon slowly reloads itself over time up to double capacity. Then you've got Incandescent, so defeating a target spreads Scorch to those nearby. More powerful combatants and opposing guardians cause Scorch in a larger radius. And of course, this one is a solar weapon, and it's going to be really, really good for your solar builds. For PvP, on the other hand, Hammer Forge Rifling, High Caliber Round, Zen Moment, and Target Lock would be good. So we've been through Hammer Forge Rifling and High Caliber Rounds already, but Zen Moment is where causing damage with the weapon reduces recoil and flinch over time. Then we've got Target Lock, so damage increases the longer the weapon remains on a target. Well, let me know down in the comments what you think about the Abyss Defiant, and let me know your favorite roles. And that is it for this guide for how to get the Abyss to find in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching or for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you real soon.